Hey everyone, it's that Math Magician. On this video, we're gonna take another look at angle relationships, but more importantly for us, we're gonna keep looking at this idea of vertical angles. Vertical angles show up when two lines intersect, and we wanna see can we solve for a missing variable when we have vertical angles. So let's go ahead and jump right into this example problem where I see two lines intersecting. I have line WZ intersecting the line XY, at this middle point called T. And notice we have two angles set up, two angles that are opposite of each other, which means that they must be vertical. I have this angle here on the top, which they're labeling as 3x plus 5 degrees. And then we have the angle on the bottom, which is 5x minus 57 degrees. Because those angles are opposite of each other, when two lines are intersecting, that means that they are vertical angles, which then means that they have to be equal. So I can set up my equation now to solve for x. So that's what I'm gonna do. I know that that top angle, 3x plus five degrees, must equal the bottom angle, which is 5x minus 57 degrees. We have an equation there with one variable. We can definitely use some algebra to solve for this missing variable. So let's go ahead and do that. I wanna solve for x, I wanna isolate my x variable. So I think first things first is I'm gonna go ahead and subtract five degrees on both sides so that it zeroes out on the left. I'm left with just three x on the left-hand side. I'm going to have five x. Now negative 57, take away five more. That's gonna leave me with minus 62 degrees. So far, so good. I have my constants over on the right side. Now I wanna move my variable over to the left side. So to move that over, I just need to subtract 5x on both sides. By doing so, the 5x's on the right-hand side zero out, they're gone. So 3x's, take away 5x's, that's gonna leave me with negative 2x's. And that equals negative 62 degrees. Notice that I'm just moving parts around so I can isolate that x variable. And I almost have done it. I almost have x on its own. Right now I have negative two x's. I don't want negative two of them. I just want one single x. So to do this final step, I just need to divide both sides by that coefficient of negative two. Doing so will make those cancel on the left into a one. So I'm just left with x equals negative 62 divided by negative two. Well, the negatives are going to cancel. And 62 divided by two, leaves us with 31 degrees. So I see right there that I, my x variable equals 31 degrees. We solve that because of the fact that we had vertical angles. Remember, vertical angles are angles that are opposite of each other when two lines intersect and they are equal every single time. It's that math magician, and I'll see you on the next video.